Hello friends, welcome once again to Andy Tech Cyber Channel. Uh, I want to thank the Lord for making me see 2024. I'm really excited. I want to use this opportunity to wish each one of you a happy, prosperous new year. Uh, and I also want to thank you for your immense support. The channel is just one month old, but so far the support has been amazing. So I want to say uh, God bless each one of you for your support. 2024 is going to be a beautiful year. Uh, we have a lot to learn and there's a lot I have, you know, in store for you. So continue to support the channel. Tell your friends, being in school abroad, um, cyber security awareness, we're going to do everything here. And so, um, yeah, tell your friends to also subscribe to the channel. And if you're watching and you've not subscribed, please kindly subscribe and also hit this uh, notification uh, button so that anytime I upload a video, You'll be notified now for today the of uh, the topic or what i'm going to be talking about is stem or non-stem now i've realized majority of the international students when it's time for them to choose a program you know it becomes um a problem they they're always confused as to what is the best you know measure or what's the best program to, to choose now i i'm gonna uh, use this video to really explain and then advise each one out there who wishes to, you know, to study, especially in the United States, why uh, the person has to either choose a STEM related program or not. Yeah, like I already said, whenever, you know, I've actually been there when I started, you know, the whole school abroad process, I was really confused. I didn't really know what program to, to choose because uh, I realized there's a lot I had interest in. But one thing uh, we do not know, one thing majority of the students do not know is, it's not just about you coming to the state, you know, and studying abroad, but the program or the major you choose has a long way to either make you successful, especially in the state or not. And there are other privileges, you know, depending on the program you choose. But majority of us do not know. So that's why I'm here. So that I can, you know, advise and then explain why it is really important to sit down, take time, and then think about the kind of program you want to pursue, the major you want to get yourself into, whether it's worth it or not. Right. Now, uh, today I'm going to focus on a STEM and then a non-STEM major. Now, I always advise my friends when they come to me, Andy, so what program, you know, should I choose? I tell them, hey, go for a STEM related, you know, program or major. Why? Now, what is a STEM? A STEM is just an acronym that stands for science, technology, engineering, then mathematics. Now, basically, you know, there are a lot of, you know, courses out there. Now, if a course or a subject falls under any of these four categories, science, technology, engineering, and then mathematics, then we can say, you know, it is a STEM program. Now, for example, I have given some example here, aerospace engineering, we have computer science, we have cybersecurity, business analytics, etc. Now, let's visit this site. When you go to USCIS, you know, when you go to the site, they um they advise some of the programs you can choose as um you know a student so you can see stem designated degree program list so this is the site so u.s citizenship and then immigration services you go to that website you scroll down you see stem designated degree program list pdf so when you click on it it's gonna give you the various programs that are counted as part of STEM, I would advise before you uh, decide to, you know, to choose a program, please, if possible, go through this list and then make sure whatever your interest or wherever, which area your interest lies, you're choosing the right course because it's, it's really important. Now, so that's STEM. Now, if a program does not fall within these four categories, then obviously it means that program it's a non-STEM, you know, program, right? Now, 
Personally, I would always advise go for a STEM related major or program. Why? There are a lot of benefits. Comparing STEM programs and then non-STEM programs, especially with respect to, you know, here in the United States, I would always advise people to go for the STEM related, you know, programs. Now, why? Yeah. So someone will be like, Andy, so why are you giving me this? Why are you giving us this advice? Why are you telling us to go for a STEM related program? Let's dive into it. Now, when it comes to the job opportunities, STEM related program is the best. No. And uh, let me issue this disclaimer. I'm not here to downgrade or, you know, look down on any, any uh, STEM program. I'm just giving my advice, you know, because uh, I think it's, it's about time people get to know the truth because majority of the, my friends, they will come here with some programs and then at the end, you know, they will suffer. So I thought it wise, I need to, you know, advise people on, on this. Now, STEM, really, you know, every problem, majority of the problem we face currently on this earth or in this world, they are either solved by science, technology, engineering, and anything related to mathematics. Engineering and math, you know, they go hand in hand, right? And so, because, you know, when you say you're working, it means you're solving a problem. So if all the problems in this world are being solved using any of these four categories, then obviously it means that the job opportunities for STEM-related programs will outweigh or, yeah, outweigh or outgo that of the um, non-STEM programs. So it's really important when you're selecting a course, please, or a program, kindly make sure. It doesn't matter whether you want to get into business, into IT, whatever. Definitely there will be, or there should be, you know, a STEM program. Make sure you choose that. For example, when you take business, when you read business, it's not basically um, part of the STEM related, you know, category but there are certain programs in businesses for example business analytics business analytics is part of you know stem so whatever in wherever your interest lies make sure you're choosing a stem related program in that area now another opportunity you know or privileges you can get when you decide to go for a stem program is immigration privileges now, I really explain, it, especially with respect to international students. I'm, I know we are really interested when it comes to immigration privileges. Now, these are the two main points I'm going to base my, I would say, yeah, I won't say argument, but my advice on the job opportunities and then the immigration privileges. Now, when it comes to job opportunities, you know, like I said earlier, Almost all the problems have been solved, you know, using science, technology, etc. Right. In that case, there are a lot of uh, companies out there seeking for people with STEM related degrees. You know, this is this is it's a common truth, right? It's, it's a common, you know, um, like knowledge. Go online, search, and you you'll be baffled, right? Or you'll be dumbfounded when it, when you see the available opportunities for STEM, you know, you know, related programs as compared to non-STEM. So it's always advisable that you go for a STEM related program. All right. Now talk of the immigration privileges. I want to use this opportunity to talk about OPT. Now OPT stands for optional practical training. So real quick, let's go to the US Immigration Services, their website and read something small about OPT. So it says OPT is a temporary employment that is directly related to an F1 student's major area of study. Now, eligible students can apply to receive up to 12 months of OPT. So let's keep that in mind, right? So at the right time, I'll make a video and then really explain what OPT is. Now, basically, when you come to the state as an international student, you know, um, being it undergrad level or graduate level, after your program, you're given the chance to work, right, in the United States. Now, um, you can work for one year, right? The OPT is just one year, so 12 months, that's what it says. 
you know, according to what we read, you know, at the official, you know, uh, website of the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, you can work for one year, and it should be related to uh, your your major, right, your area of study. Now let's ask ourselves: after one year, what happens? After the one year OPT, what happens? Do I need to go back to my country, or what do I need to do? That's when STEM, you know, the privilege in applying for a STEM related or going for a STEM related degree. That's where you know the privileges come in. Now, let's go back to the site. Even though this is a snapshot, but I just want to want you to know I I took it from their site. So it says STEM OPT extension. If you have earned a degree in a certain science, technology, engineering, and math, or any of the STEM fields, you may apply for a 24-month extension of your post you know, completion OPT employment authorization. Now, what does that mean? We, we've already established that OPT is for one year, right? You, you get the chance to work in the state for one year. Now, at the end of the one year, if your degree is a STEM related degree, you have the chance to extend the OPT for another two years. This is a, this is a wonderful news, right? You can and you can extend it for more uh, two more years. Now you ask yourself, so what will become of someone who doesn't have a STEM related program or degree? It means that person at the end of the one year. If your immigration status has not changed, you have to go back home. You see, so that is why I want to advise. It's really important, friends, really important to always choose a STEM related. Unless, you know, yeah, you have an organization here in the States and then you have people here and they've, um, um, they've advised that when you come after school, they will employ you, they'll help you with your immigration processes, then that's cool. Or I'm not saying no one should go for a non-STEM program. That's not what I'm saying, please. I'm just saying uh, it's advisable, right? Of course, we all have our dreams, you know, the careers we all want to achieve. But I'm just advising, please make sure the program you are choosing, once you start to embark on your study abroad journey or dream, make sure at the end of or at the end of your study you receive a STEM degree. Really important. At least, if for nothing, at the end of your studies, you know you have three years to work, which is more than enough, right? It's more than enough. You have three years, and who knows, within the three years, by God's grace, yeah, your status could change. You, you, you might end up finding a company to sponsor your visa or sponsor your green card. I'm not saying um, after when you do a non-STEM program, you're not going to get that benefit, you know. Of course, there, there are people who did non-STEM at the end of their studies. By God's grace, they got an organization, a company to do their visa for them. I mean, their green card. but you know, it's, it's not common out there. If you have three years to work, bro, that's a great opportunity. So that's why I want to advise each one out there, please. Once you decide to embark on this, this journey, make sure you choose the right program. Make sure you choose the right major. It's really important. It's not just about you coming to the state, you know, you're, or your bugger. No, not, it's not just about that. But what you decide to study can make life really easier and comfortable for you. And the other way around, if you don't choose a good course, life becomes so difficult, especially after school for you. So uh, please this, take this advice and then make the right choice. It's really important, right? So um, I want to end. I want to end this uh, video, please. Share the video to, to to your friends. If you know anybody who is planning on you know embarking on this abroad thing, you know, please share the video and then uh I want you everybody to like the video, please. When you watch, kindly like the video so that 
it can be recommended to anybody who is also on the internet looking for you know an education like this so i want to thank you so much and like i said please kindly subscribe to my channel if you've not and also do like my video and also uh, click on the notification button so that anytime i release a video you'll be notified thank you very much and i wish you all a, a happy new year and also uh, a prosperous new year thank you very much for the support uh, peace out